Welcome to Bloom in Full Color, where we live life in high definition. Uh, all right, myself, Jennifer Moss. I've got PJ and Dave with me. We are talking about gifts, mm. but I am going to challenge this. Okay, so did you bring any gifts today? No, I didn't bring oh. you shit. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was I, the whole reason I. I yeah, I totally baited you, yeah. and I lied. <laughs> you just blame it on me. It's fine. Um, okay, so I have a rule: I don't give presents to my kids. And people are like, "What Whoa! kind of mom are you?" I, I'm an asshole. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> actually, so we, I had a year. So I married a man who presents, brand name cereal is a thing. <laughs> brand name <laughs> gifts is a thing. But, you know, budget everything else. That that was just how he was raised. Like, I couldn't get the bag cereal. It had to be the box brand name. And I was like, this is a thing. But anyhow, I started to figure out, like, that was something that was important. Like, his presence was something that he thought was a pivotal piece of the holidays. So I started to kind of balk the trend a little bit. And I said, why don't we go somewhere and do something? We don't need to have a birthday party. Why don't we go skiing? We don't have to have birthday here. Why don't we go to a concert? We don't need to spend money on something that's not going to matter if we can make a memory that will stay for time. So I tested this theory. This was probably like four three, four years, it's pre-pandemic right before. And we were kind of having an argument. And I said, all right, let me, let, let's test the theory. Hey, girls, pulled them aside in a separate conversation. I said, what'd you get for Christmas last year? They couldn't, no re- idea. They couldn't regurgitate no it. No idea. They couldn't remember what they got for their birthday. They couldn't remember the Christmas before that. And then I said, okay, where did we go? Oh, well, we went. We went to the Cirque du Soleil show and we saw the bugs thing and then we got to stay at that hotel and then we got to play in the pool and then we had sushi mm. and then they could remember the experience we had. Sorry, I got stuff in my eyeball. And so at that point, I challenged him. I said, why don't we make holidays and like Christmas and birthdays experience-based? And we start, and if we do presents, it's like coats that they need or shoes or clothes or books, things that we use and that they need, Right. That's my biggest thing because you got grandparents, aunts and uncles, all sorts of family members that they are going to give presents and toys and Santa and all that stuff. So you you can still have that, but we no longer give gifts. Now, Mm -hmm. mind you, I did take my children Christmas shopping and we got shoes and clothes. I cannot pick their clothes anymore. We are now to that age Mm -hmm. that mom style sucks and it's fine. And these are Christmas gifts. They were Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. But we also didn't do school shopping because they had plenty of stuff. And so I had a pair of shoes that had just gotten trashed in six weeks with one of my daughters. It's incredibly destructive. She's basically mine, even though I'm a step parent. She is channeling my genetics somehow, Mm -hmm. some way. She is inherently destructive. (laughs) Nature, nurture. Uh, uh, (laughs) They're absorbing. Found me. Found me. I'm right there. Yep, that's me. So that daughter takes on that. The other one's loud and abrasive. That's me and her as well. So I've got a little bit of me and both my daughters. And so Aurora had trashed her shoes. And they were, we'd got them at TJ Maxx or Ross and they were like a knockoff brand of a Doc Martin. And she just didn't want to have the same thing as her sister. And her sister got Docs. So I, you know, said, all right, let's just go get you actual ones because the the sole was coming off. They were duck, duck, <laughs> duck shoes in six weeks. So I was like, okay, maybe we can't go budget with you. <laughs> <laughs> so that was something that we did. And so it was an experience. And now they've been wearing it. They're really excited about it, but it was still an experience, even though it was a purchase. But, you know, um, right before COVID. So my birthday is the day after my daughter's birthday. So it's March 1st is my kids. March 2nd is me. So I always try to plan a concert for my birthday and an event for their birthday, whether that's a concert or, you know, a show. And so we did Cirque du Soleil one one year and then we did a Pepper concert. Um, Pepper's one of the rock reggae bands out of Hawaii that we really, really love as a family. And so they have a very impressionable memory for that. Christmas, I think it was New Year's last year, Brandon took Gwen to a heavy metal concert over in Rupert. Her favorite band was playing, Messer. She had a ball. Gwen was with us at our concert mm-hmm. that you guys can go back to episode whatever when we talk about our horrible <laughs> concert experience with the styrofoam hot dog <laughs> or the french fries. The and Oh, line. God, yeah. that was the terrible the experience. Rock, the show was great. The show was awesome. The, everything else mm. left a little bit to be desired. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, so 
we really lean into experiences. And so that's my challenge for the holidays. That's a cool I idea. Well, what'd you get for well, Hall- what'd well, you get for Christmas last year? No, this is a perfect perfect example. Oh yeah, I was like the the one that I heard that I really like was <clears throat> the kid we have one grandbaby. We spoil her rotten. Right. The good, Absolutely. The, the cool She's part about being a single grandma, we don't even have to get the baby one, go get it. Yeah. We, it's not even a question. So yeah. it's cool. And we know that we're spoiling her. So this is not coming from a point of view. You are grandparents. It's part of, 100%, it's part right? of the it's, it's deal. It's in my pre- exactly It's part right. of the deal. You have children that you suffer so, through and, and, and raising they, so that you get to enjoy grandchildren. And I think what's happened over the years, you know, as a child of the 60s and 70s, and in and having children growing up in the 80s, the the concept of what Christmas was, okay? So back in the day, it was one basic gift and you got socks yep. or you got shoes or you got clothes. <laughs> the things you need. Well, when my kids were growing up in the in the early 80s, it was the, oh, dad, I got to have the cabbage, Nintendo. cabbage mm-hmm. patch kid doll, you mm-hmm. know, and you're trying to go out and find it. So I would say that probably in the 1980s, it really became commercialized and even more so today. Now, my kids are grown and I've got grandkids and I ask, okay, what do you need? And we get them. That's I'm playing into that whole system of what did grandpa get you last year? And how long did you play with that? Toy? I bet you, like she and said, I bet you no yeah, one remembers. Yeah. Oh, I no did one. ask my daughter what she wanted this year. One of, one of them. And she goes, well, there's this Lego set. I'm like, all right, cool. Send it to me. She sends me this thing. It is a $500 Stranger Things set up, and I was like, <laughs> "No, you got a better chance of getting a car <laughs> I, out of me." I said, "That's all of the Christmas budget, and yeah. me, you, no. Dad, everybody. That's no." <laughs> the one I heard that I really liked was you can't you couldn't just give the baby new toys. The baby had to go and get rid of toys. To we make actually have that rule in my which house, which is so cool because it we gets the kid rule. into the giving yep. idea as opposed to me, me, me. Because and our granddaughter's for example. It, everything's me, me, me. You know, it, the day after her birthday, it's, you know what I want? And it's it for my birthday. Like, listen, hooker, your birthday's been by 12 hours already. You already tell me what Nick should be. I, I don't really, think so. I really hope yep. you said, listen, hooker. Uh, uh, I, yeah. every, everything's a hooker in my house. The yeah. dog's a hooker. The wife's a hooker. The grandbaby can be a hooker. It can happen. <laughs> if you're being a schmuck, you might be a hooker. But the cool, the, the get rid of or make room, right? This was just a balance for mom to not just keep pouring shit in the room. And I thought, it really put them into a giving mood. Yep. We're going to go find stuff that other kids don't have. Yep. What should we give away? And so their mindset, uh, just that fast goes from me, me, gimme, gimme, gimme to, ooh. And they they really, I say they, I'm oh, I, I'm taking on one kid, but you should see the attitude change when it's giving, right? We, it is a different look on their face. We actually have the kids, we'll give them both a big box and we say, fill the box. Bitching. Yeah, just fill the box with anything that you're not using. And then we always have a bag for clothes that have gotten too small. And then do you take them with you when you give them away? Because that so was our other I deal. So I didn't used to, and they got a little punchy with me. I said, fine, you're coming with me. Oh, man. And mm. so uh, that year that Aesop did one of the shelters in town. Right. And we right. filled the van full of right. stuff. And I just threw all the stuff in there. They were just like, where did all that stuff go, Jennifer? And I was like, oh, shit. Mm. We already took it over. Oh, right. crap. You weren't Missed here. an opportunity. Yeah. Well, it was a week on, week off thing because we, we have split right. custody. We we parent really well with our mom. And it just was one of those things. So now I take them with us. And they volunteer. I mean, hell, they were um, part of the Kimberly Festival thing, holiday thing this weekend in freaking frigid weather um, <laughs> that was going on over in Kimberly. And they were um, St. Nicholas little elf helpers. And so they were in full costumes and, you know, my daughter looks at me, she goes, do not put this on Facebook. And I was like, first, uh, too late. let's uh, <laughs> talk about, are you even on Facebook? No, because I control all of those things. <laughs> you are not on social media. Second, who do you know on Facebook? And she's like, Valerie, this is her best friend's mother. And I was like, and she's going to be disappointed that you're volunteering your time out. You look adorable. Oh, and by the way, I already sent it to your mother. So it's out of sight of my control. <laughs> <laughs> I just played completely stupid. No, no I'm not going to share it on See, Facebook. I think, I think it's interesting, this concept of experiences. Yeah. Okay. As I've gotten older, my children, for instance, last year, you know, my son, well, what do you want dad for Christmas? You know, I says, get us a gift certificate to a restaurant. Well, you can go to a restaurant anytime. You're yeah, right. I can, but I treasure that time with Mary when we get that opportunity that you we don't have to pay also for. You, like, know, and that's, uh, you like to go to restaurants and have a food experience. Yes, that's absolutely. important to you. 
that's something you enjoy. So me, it's concert tickets and going places. That's that's my jam. That's where I want to do. You know, my brother, since he's standing in the room hovering, um, his I is do. travel. <laughs> <laughs> his is travel. You know, Zach's might be. What would yours be, Zach? You think yours? Online game. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, my kids would would be down for that in a hot second. Like my daughter's way, one of my daughters way into robotics. The other one, she wants to go places and see things. She wants to go to an arcade with her dad. Like that is her jam. Oh, I would love that anymore. Yeah, there is arcades. So this time last year, it was actually like the second week in December. Brandon and the girls were on the front of the Times News because they were in the arcade playing. Wow. Yeah. So there's an arcade in this town in, even? In the mall. Wow. There's an arcade. Can you send me to oh, Vegas for Christmas? Just so I can go to the yeah, okay. to the uh, pinball can, museum? Aren't pinball you going museum. to Reno for Christmas? I'm going for, to my mom's. But, yeah, that's yeah. kind of that way. You'll find an arcade. That's Reno's like an arcade. It's like a low-end arcade. <laughs> so it is, so the, the cool- There is, isn't there? There is like a new Dave & Buster's footprint place coming. Huh. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Hey, Dave, you need to talk to Zach after this. I guess. Right? Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, you got him so excited. Because Dave's a pinball, yeah. like old video game style yeah. guy. And we have a actually a Flourish customer. He actually has a club in Boise where all their buddies in somebody's garage have old pinball machines. But like this goes back to the whole experience. Yeah. What do you, ha- you know, what, what helps fill our cup? Experiences, the unique events. Why do people look forward to our ladies' night? Why do you look forward to vacation and leaving? It's so that you can have an experience somewhere else. It's like, it's just why I read fantasy. It gives me a different experience and it helps me forget well, about like this day job that I have. <laughs> this is changing in the world, right? A lot of people now are valuing experience. The, over, ho- the know, whole like, millennial you know, Gen Z really is changing. all experience based. Right. They right. don't care about material items as right. much. I'm actually trying to like part ways with the idea of materialism and go to experiences and live a simpler life because the keeping up with the Joneses bullshit game, uh, pardon my French, but I freaking hate that game. I don't play it. I don't play the country club politics. I don't like it. It is so superficial and it doesn't add any value to my life. Fact, do I enjoy it Do does. I enjoy plenty of people that skirt those circles? Absolutely. Do I find value in our friendships? Absolutely. I just don't participate with that piece. It just it doesn't mean I'm not friends with folks that participate. It doesn't matter about any of that. Like social con- constructs aside, I just don't participate. I love going to my friend's place, Float Magic, to have a completely peaceful experience. I love driving somewhere instead of flying so that I can see the sights. Dave's a perfect example of that. You drove all the way to South Carolina last month. In the rain. <laughs> the entire time. The entire time. Well, really? I haven't talked to you about yeah. this yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit yeah. funny. Yeah. That's a little disappointing, I too. I mean, here it is. It's raining <laughs> so hard in Paducah, Kentucky. All the way across the... That, Sub- I said, Sub- Sub- I'm Sub- done. Sub- Paducah. 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 I, I told Mary, Podunk, we're done. Paducah. I can't see. It's oh, dark. Same, same, really, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> same, same. Podunk, Paducah, same. God. Exact same. Have, have you done a comedy, comedy show here? In Paducah? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lex, oh, yes. Uh, yes, That's I have. A thing. Yes, That's a thing. It's a okay, thing. Okay, another thing. Experience a comedy show. Right. All of us are going to experience the holidays, good, bad, or indifferent. Because some, ho- like, we really look forward to holidays because our family stays pretty peaceful. Talking to other families who don't have a positive family experience or dread that time of year because of certain family members, like it's not a pleasant nope. thing for them. And so they're like, no, give me an excuse to leave. Well, think of how much I the suicides Tammy, go up. I don't yeah. know how they work. One at a time. I can't tell you that. Oh, that's funny. They're trying, to, the they're left, trying to close the go windows. Go for the left side and go in. Sorry. We have... um Blinds hey, that are smarter than hey. us. We have a rule: ten percent smarter than the object you're working with. <laughs> and currently, Zach's failing at that. But but but, but who's counting? <laughs> it's fine. No, so, it, because all that this, it, that's why did suicides yeah. ratchet up at the holiday. Oh, I mean, the yeah. stress why? of holiday giving, the stress of the money. Like again, my time period. Right, I, I'm, I'm talking to older people. You know what they used to get for Christmas? Fruit. Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. But, but you couldn't you get, fruit get fruit in December. Well, and, and, right. And, yeah. And with that, a lot of families had this tradition 
you had the the fruit cake that you kept in the freezer. Okay, and is then that whoever, where fruit cake comes from? Well, you would give it as a gift yeah, to somebody, like a, thing. a mystery Santa Santa type thing. Until you regifted next year, so that fruit cake that's like the thirteenth yeah, yeah. year someone yes. has given this for yeah. Yes, no one ever eats it, Jennifer. Right. In case you're wondering, it just Are you really because <laughs> I want to make a fruit cake that tastes good. Oh, I just love fruit cake. Well, I, I do too. I do Hold too. So okay. no gluten free bologna yeah. though. Oh bullshit! You oh, loved yeah. my gluten free. <laughs> love might be a strong. Okay, add strong. It was nobody else edible. could tell the difference. And the it more brandy completely. or rum that you have in it. Seems yes, better. please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, so what PJ's referring to is I am a food retard and can eat basically air. Um, and it, it's become the joke of the farm, especially because yeah. my food, my my love language is food to our staff. Like to me, a, a restaurant yep. experience, if you can find a restaurant I can safely eat at, oh, I am a customer for life. We've got a friend who runs a cafe in Twin Falls and it's only open Give her nine. That shameless plug. Yeah, Yellow Brick Cafe. It's it, well, and Four Roots would be another one that they do an outstanding job. And I don't know the owners, but you know, I think we circle similar social circles. But at the end of the day, I can walk into both those places, eat something safely, and not have to worry about my gluten intolerance, my dairy allergy, my egg white allergy, my hazelnut allergy, my almond allergy, my celery problems. Or anything Did we else. Did mention air? Yeah. Is what yeah. <laughs> and, and how does you, it make you feel, though, that you've got a place that you can go to that you can enjoy? And I can go do so. So what happens when I go out places, right? So this goes back to experiences. I know if we go, say I'm on the road traveling because I travel a lot for work. I know I'm going to be miserable for that whole trip. Because there's going to be, somebody's going to cook something in clarified butter. Or they're going to use an inflammatory oil when they're cooking. And I have two to five hours afterwards that I could feel miserable. And then I'm going to be completely inflamed and none of my stuff is going to fit. <laughs> and then I'm going to have brain fog. And I'm, I have to factor for all of those things. And then if I'm snacking on the road, then I have to think about exposure. And then hazelnuts got really, really popular. I can have an anaphylactic reaction to hazelnuts. I have to have an EpiPen for that. And this, there's no freaking food allergies that really in anyone else in my family except like a one-off here and there just you just me lucky you so cool lucky yeah. it's so fine lucky. functional health has a little bit to do with this too so um anyhow what i've learned in that is if i can have an experience in a place i can eat oh my gosh yeah. i look forward to it every time so it goes back to experiences so uh, my husband has an experience he wants to watch football that is a really important part of his fault so that is something we actually have to build our social calendar around. But my challenge to people is like, okay, Christmas. We're going to have 25 people over on Christmas Eve. Oh, man. We have a table that seats 15. Is this family or yeah, friends? Both. Okay. A little mix. A little mix. Um, we're very open that way. There's actually a lot more family in town than we realized. And then we actually just, whoever has kids at what time, because my uncle has a shared uh, you know, custody uh, household as well. And then my kids, same thing. And so we're kind of always juggling who, which, which night do we have kids? And so we always do Christmas Eve at my parents' house up in Ketchum. And then we have Christmas at my uncle's. And so it's just whose house for what. And if it's too many people, we have to move it to my parents. So we've got 25 people. We can only see half of them. So we're having to completely rethink the holidays. So we decided Okay, if you're going to have two seatings, we're not that organized. Nobody's going to be paying that much attention and nobody's going to be completely sober. So <laughs> factoring for all of those things, what can you serve that's not going to be a problem? So normally we do two huge prime ribs. We said, screw that. We're going to do something different. So we're playing with the ideas of a soup and salad bar and heavy appetizers or a make your own sliders and sandwiches with soup. Or uh, does decorate your own cookie station. And you've already like, hired Greg, right, to do all this? No, not at all. <laughs> He's going to be here growing. No, it's the Dana and Jennifer show for oh. this. Um, grammar, great Grammar Roo sold homemade sugar cookies, and then we're going to have piping <laughs> frostings. And, you know, and we're just going to have fun with it because at the end of the day, so we're planning a holiday for, party with friends. We're going to just have cookie decorating. I'm going to make a whole bunch of sugar cookies and just have frostings and have our friends over. And look over. how fun that's going to be. That's your experience. It's the experience. Okay, We're not going to exchange gifts. We're not going to do presents. We're not going to do any of that nonsense. We don't care about that. We just want to spend time with each other and have a good time. Maybe have a cocktail hmm. or hot chocolate with some 
you know, mm-hmm. peppermint schnapps in it or mm-hmm. something, if that's your thing. That sounds like a fun I a fun So event. I will admit this. If you've watched our fall cocktail one, I am now obsessed with apple cider and tawaka together. <laughs> and I cannot seem what, to get past it. did you not it. give me the snoot face when I oh gave my it God. I, I got a crinkled face? Like, I, like, I'm giving it as gifts to people. Oh. I'm so sold on it. It's stupid. <laughs> so that's an experience. I had a good experience. Right. So now I'm gifting experience. So if I do a gift, I did this to my brother. So I, I, we draw names at Christmas. So we only have to buy one gift. Get like, easy. Nice. Yeah, no, it's it's cakewalk. It's $100. Nice limit, and um. So this year I have my uncle's girlfriend. My brother has me, you know. So I sent what my brother, what I wanted to my brother. He gets that. Kara sent me, or no, his his. My uncle sent me what Kara wants, so she's also getting slippers. Don't watch this, Kara. I don't think she watches this. We're good. Psych. No, <laughs> Psych. You know. Just kidding. Not getting Ugg slippers. Sorry. How dare you ruin Christmas for that thirty-seven-year-old lady? <laughs> Right. I don't even know. Exactly. She's out. in her forties. Yeah, she's, she's doing great. Um, but so what I did for my brother when I had him a couple of years ago, he had just gotten comfortable in his house, didn't have a whole lot of kitchen stuff. So I got him a cast iron skillet that goes just straight on your um stovetop, right? So it's one of those cast iron nice ones. And then I got him pancake mix, um, a whole bunch of different syrups. I nice. got him a whole experience for a pancake setup. And so when we do, um, when I do like the rotary uh, white elephant for that party, I'll do like a taco night. So I'll throw in chips and salsa and a margarita mix oh. and a shaker and a glass. And so I still give experiences when I give gifts because that's, that's, what do you buy for somebody who already has everything? Right. right. Because those are the people that I have to buy right. for. That is that shit is impossible sometimes. And My that's why I juices say are that gift certificate out somewhere. Exactly. You know, to say okay, which is a I nice don't band-aid. need anything. Yeah. Yeah. At, at my age, I don't need anything. Well, and, and we people who uh, we're lucky and employed and have yeah. have that nice middle class lifestyle, I'd, I'll buy it if I need it. Yeah. It's it's a bad habit. Yeah. I got two cool ideas for executive level, or they got to okay. be pretty high level because he's yeah. kind of spendy, but really cool. You, your comment was, what do you get for somebody who's got everything? I got two killer Let's ideas. Let's hear it. First one is- Is it an experience? Th- yes, I okay. believe so. Box of Cuban cigars. Oh, here's, that's an here, experience. Here's the deal with Cuban cigars. They are st- they are stamped with the, the month and the year that they put them in the box. And if you do your homework and research, you buy it for the month and the year of the child of whoever you're giving it to so you're you got a granddaughter you got a whatever i'm gonna give yeah. you a box of cigars and here's the cool part about that Ooh. that's one to smoke every year while the kid's growing up and if they're 18th 19th the 20th birthday you got one to share with so them. my dad before you right? share the Kinda second cool. one yeah. he would buy a bottle of wine of the year we were born mm. and then we got to open it and drink it on our 18th birthday so, so two, it's an 18 year old bottle and so we got to drink an 18 year old wine that's my second 18. one yeah. scotch is typically okay, you can so buy scotch. Another one. and here's the deal when they get old holy shit is this expensive you try to find yeah. one for your dad right now minimum a thousand dollars yeah well there was, there right? was but something... if we'd gone back uh, you know if you'd have figured this out 20 years Absolutely. ago right the next one I heard which is a cool executive gift right you're gonna what do you give to your boss right you get him a bottle of scotch from the year he was born, right. high dollar. Did you see the, the deal in the paper where a guy bought a bottle of scotch every year for his kid's birthday? Right. He sold them and bought a house. This was in Europe. <laughs> this was so, in Europe, I believe. Yes. And so every year he would buy a bottle. Right. A, sounds like a pretty right. expensive bottle, but yep. one year old birthday. Here's a yep. what? And at the, it, I'm assuming this person was 25 years old, was able to take that whole collection, sell them, and come up with money and to buy his buy house. house. Well, I don't know a 25 year old that really likes scotch. So that seems like a pretty sad well, action. But this was, <laughs> this was at a, 38. I this don't was a like fancy scotch. brand. <laughs> it was a fancy oh, brand. I'm sure they're buying. And, I mean, they were highly sought after. Yep. Especially My brother in the older years, loves so that was the, scotch, mm-hmm. so I shouldn't speak to it too much. I'm just, I could care less unless it's like Johnny Walker Green Label or something, and then. <laughs> I'm probably going to take it. But I think that, that is a cool idea. Don't give me a whole We're going to help you. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. Gonna, no, the, the, you don't need to help me. And let's talk about tequila. Yeah. Tequila let's see. talk about. So I, I don't think I'm going to have any more grandkids. So I, I can't do that. And by the, if I did, I'd be, I, I probably wouldn't remember what I was smoking for anyhow. You know, so that's. <laughs> Right, twenty years. Are you factory? They're going to lose very your small. memory yeah, sometime yeah. soon. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. Well, and you can give 
gift cards for flowers. I should do yeah. the shameless plug at this point. Gift cards are on sale to the 22nd. It's flashing. Of December ching, ching, for 20% ching. off. In person or on the phone. We'll mail it for you. Yada, yada. But we actually have employees who are really good customers as well as our customers that will come our in really and buy. Good customers. Our, our very, very, very good customers come in and they'll buy gift cards because they know they want them in the spring. Mm-hmm. Period. End of story. I don't care that I don't get a present during December. It does not matter. Refronting your your um, spring savings is basically what you want to know. What yeah. I would love for Christmas, someone else to clean my house. Ooh, top, oh, there you go. To bottom. That is a dream. That'd be a cool. It's gift. not in the budget currently. <laughs> right. It's fine. So, have you ever had an experience for Christmas other than the gift giving? Not really. And see, I can't, I can't say that either. We, you can't. We, no, no. We we didn't really no. have any big holiday traditions. We're we're I'm a little bah humbuggy. To be fair, most of the time we didn't have very much money. Yeah. We were poor no, as that's people. Fair. That's fair. Uh, so I'll tell you a couple of things in my house. I bought my wife a fancy um, vacuum cleaner one year, and her best friend was like, "I would kick my husband's ass if he bought me a vacuum cleaner." My wife's like. Are you kidding me? I can't wait to open this goddamn thing. <laughs> so in our house, there is no rule. Like there is right. no off limit. If this helps you in any way in your life and your whatever it and is you, you do, want, we it? are giving it right. Exa- right. There's no. You better get me a fur coat, kind of deal. Like so, underwear. If I need underwear, I'm thrilled, poopless to get under. You know what I mean? We were very practical as far as that stuff goes. So yeah. a lot of practical stuff in our house, and we only had two kids, so it was easy right. enough to kind of spoil them a little bit, but. We never really had any big holiday traditions. Food, I guess we're big food people. Right. We put on a big spread at Christmas like we do at Thanksgiving. Right. Basically the same meal, too, in my house. We're down with the turkey and the stuffing. I mean, it's almost it's still, the same menu. It's still a family gathering Very time to get together with your family. And, it, and it's a shame that it only happens a couple times a year. Agreed. You know, and that's... Well, and I'm fortunate. I get to see my family every single day. I mean, I work with them. So it's a little bit different. And I actually enjoy my family, which is also a little But this different. idea of giving experiences, this isn't something that is new to you. No. Okay, because it's I've very, known you long enough. Yeah. You've been to Hawaii during yep. the, the holidays. We do. And you've yeah, done we do things, holidays you know, in Hawaii. Well, okay, so you're in the fucking flower business. Pardon my French. <laughs> this is why we do, we rate <laughs> this. Um, spring sucks. Now, it's wonderful. It erupts in flowers. That's great. You're exhausted when it's done. And so what do you have to capitalize on? I love snow. I don't love the heat. Why I embrace the heat is I get to enjoy my patio That's morning and I'm night. Moving. Huh? That's why I'm moving. It's fine. I couldn't <laughs> do it. Um, I lived in Portland for a year. I was miserable because oh, there was not enough snow. And that was the year they got a three snow, foot storm. Not sun. There's, uh, I love snow. I'm so excited about winter getting here. I'm bummed it got up to 43 degrees and it all melted. My snowman is now a lump. <laughs> Just a coal and a corn. <laughs> well, a carrot. There, there's a staff and um a, 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 a hat and a scarf on the bottom and then a carrot somewhere in the grass. Have you not seen the snowman kits you can give his gifts? It's a baggie of water with two buttons and a carrot in it. Like, here's your thumb, man. America has. I think that's everybody. Well, the one I saw, they like, so one more. He uh, goes, uh. He, the brother gives the other brother a box of batteries and goes, toy not included. Yeah. Like that was the <laughs> present. Like, whoa. Oh, it's four AAA batteries. Toy You're going to need that for the next I thought, present. Yeah. I thought <laughs> no, that was so weird. I'm a big fan of experiences. I've always been that way because I don't really care about the gifts. I mean, mm. some of them matter. If I need it, great. I'll forget about it. You know, I'm famous for finding shit in my closet that still has tags in it. I'm like. What that? Well, I hung it up. Uh, we are good job. The, we are, we say if we want some, we go get it. Yeah, We're not we, waiting I go get for it. Christmas, right. right? We're at that age too. Not right. nobody like, is particularly. Who would young. rather spend a meal with someone or go golfing? Right. I mean, spend a meal with somebody. Well, you and I would. Uh, yeah, do yeah, yeah, always golf. said that golfing is the answer. So <laughs> we th- eat when we golf. So yeah. I'd rather go skiing. And that's the agreement my husband and I make. He doesn't really care for skiing. It's hard for him. He's a natural athlete, and it's just one he's never grabbed onto. So he goes golfing all summer and fall and spring. Like, he'll just take off for five hours, and I don't care. But I told him, I said, I got a mountain collective, and I'm ditching you all winter. Mm. I love you. Bye. Have a great time. And I'm going to go chase snow because that's what I like to do. And I've got a whole group of girlfriends that want to do it, too. So we all have mountain collectives. We're going skiing. End of story. But that's something we enjoy to do. Like, I don't want to go out and drink with my friends anymore. I want to go hike. I want to go climb a mountain. I want to go to a show. I want to do something like that. I mean, when you were doing the thing down at Jackpot, like, 
we got a car full of people and we tootled down. We went and saw you. Nice. I don't care about gambling. I don't definitely don't care about the food they serve. Doesn't the matter. The steakhouse down there is pretty good. Everything else. I'm never that good. organized to get there in time because my husband wants to gamble. I do not have a good <laughs> association with casinos. I don't care. I think it's this. We have a podcast. It doesn't matter if I am inappropriate. It's like masturbation without the reward. Why would you gamble? Like that doesn't make sense to me. That is just like shredding your money. It's dumb to me. Now, a lot of people really enjoy it, including the man I'm married to. He loves to do sports bets, and he loves to get on a poker table. I'd love to play the game, but I don't want to put money down. <laughs> if we could bet in Skittles, I'm in. <laughs> I want all the red ones. <laughs> like, if you got it, you could, you could find a different currency I'm in, but money just seems like a waste. And so, I'm like going through the currency, where yeah. what the poker game. Yeah. Like, we're going to talk after the show. Okay, yeah. we're going to come I have up ideas. Okay, yeah, you got to think about ideas. different yeah. ideas of currency because one other thing I always also look at is my currency um, gauge is how much energy I have. That's a currency gauge for me because my currency is time and energy. Right? If I show up and give you my time and energy, it's worth at least a hundred to five hundred dollars an hour, depending on what capacity I'm showing up as. So if I'm going to dedicate that time. Am I getting that value back or do I have that available to give? <laughs> Which the answer or, or the next episode we're about to to record is about burnout. <laughs> There's no nothing left in the cash here. There's no no energy left in the bank. And so I got to kind of step away, have a reboot, um, kind of do a, a hard reset, get some rest. And then I can show back up with a full full bank. Right. So it's the same same way. How do you fill your cup? Have an experience because it's something about connection and doing something that's different. It's like taking a break um, from a computer and then going to play on your phone. You don't actually feel like you rest. Yeah, right. no. Right. That same concept. Same, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so homework. 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 Place one of your gifts with an experience. See if it makes a difference. And I recommend doing it for the Love person who's idea. hard to to. To buy for if it's a punch card to a golf course is it i mean because i always do that for the family members too it's a, it's a punch card for golfing you can go whenever you want who cares so like the teas of the month or the beers of the month is that an experience yeah see that absolutely. i was thinking about that too. yeah it's just advent calendars which i think are to me it's relatively new maybe they've been around a long time it's new to me oh advent calendars man Oh, so, if so you can get a beer cool. in each one yeah. or a bottle of or, wine or, in each or, one, or the little or a mini bottles of whiskey. Right. The little right. mini bottles of You know, we just liquor? gave a grandma. She's a rock hound. She loves gyms and rocks. We oh, gave her so, a rock. She is so right. stinking excited. Oh, she gets excited. Because she gets to open advent. a new rock every right. day. Right. So happy about it. I was so excited. It was excited. very cheap. I bet you she'll remember yeah. that gift compared to whatever toys. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. that's totally And she's going to learn about each one of those rocks mm -hmm. when she opens it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember my parents used to give us a chocolate one, and I was so excited about the advent calendar because yep. we get chocolate. Yep. And so, I mean, you could give something like that. You could even create something a like that. A little more experience-based yeah. anyway, because it's more yeah. than a day. It's more than one right. open. And I did uh, one year I did, and he didn't ever end up really using them, so I felt like it was a waste. But... It was probably a timing issue, and we were going into spring. I did coupons for my husband. So this one was good for a back rub. This one was good mm -hmm. for a steak dinner. This one was good for, you know, hot springs date, you know. And so we gave, I gave him a book of coupons. And you, you, and you can buy that stuff on Amazon now, but I made them that year. <laughs> so I, you can get creative with it even if you have a budget or no money. You can get really creative. Like, this is a coupon for me to clean, do two hours of cleaning for you, Mom, whenever you need it. You know, whatever you need me to do. This is a coupon for four hours of yard work. This is a coupon for, you know, you can get a little creative even if you don't have a budget. Sure. This is a coupon for me to plant all your flowers, Grandma, and help your knees and your back. I will take care of it. You point, I plant. That kind of stuff. So, my homework is... I'm like on spinning how we can sell it yeah. from here. I'm like, how could we sell you flowers every month for yeah. like a few months? Uh, <laughs> Subscription gardening. Straight up is what yeah. I'm literally what yeah. I'm thinking. Like Advent, but for gardeners. You're going to get something in March. You're going to get something in April. You're going to get something in May. I don't know. It sounds cool to me. Oh, there's something to be said yeah. for something like yeah, that. So yeah, yeah, we've got we've got fun things coming here, uh -huh. Moss. Don't worry. There there's some cool stuff coming around the corner. Um, again, if you like what you're hearing, um, subscribe. 
Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I'm getting better. <laughs> YouTube and all other Facebook streaming page. channels. Um, it's on the Moss Green House's Facebook and the website. And so feel free to share with your friends. And again, please pick an experience and give that instead of a gift this year. With that, we invite you to live life in full color because plain is pretty boring. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs>